Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Trying to make sense of this crazy Arizona market. Second week of January. Do we have a leaky bucket? Why aren't listings growing? What's a leaky bucket? Well, when I was in a sales team in Southern California, um, we had a, a general manager that called everybody in for a meeting. We had to go in and have meetings once a month. And he said, you know, he goes, every month you guys show me all this new business that you're picking up. And every month our sales are going down. How many accounts are you losing? And why aren't you sharing that with me? He said, you guys have a leaky bucket. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. I just got there. So I didn't know what was going on. So then he made us present how many new accounts we picked up. And then how many, new, how many accounts we were losing. So we were putting business on. They were going away. Well, I'm looking at new listings right now. And I'm seeing that new listings are increasing right here that blue line they've gone up quite a bit but I'm not seeing active listings increase in fact they're still 16,100 they've gone down by 100 units now this is a chart that shows Saturday uh, 15,731 and I'm looking and going okay well where is it so if I look at these numbers and these are going to be hard for you to see I can't really make blow this up any more than I have let me see if I can here for just a moment um, that helps so we had 2565 new listings come on here and then we had over here 761 went back on the market so then we had 789 are under contract 59 are contingent, 1703 are pending. Well, here's one of the things that happened. The number of new sales, new contracts has climbed. And I'm seeing it right here, this yellow line. We've gone up. This was our trend line right here, right? They've gone up by about 400 homes. So our leaky bucket at first glance is an increase in sales activity unexpectedly I thought we'd be about 2200 again maybe 2400 so I guess I'm not too far off we're sitting at 2500 but it's climbing and it's climbing dramatically but there's still a gap between the new listings and the contract so this is not going to apply any pricing pressure on the upside we're still going to have some pricing pressure on the downside and when I look on price changes over the past seven days we've had 3,614 that's starting to go up so as we're getting into the new year sellers are going well I guess if I'm going to sell it I'm going to have to reduce the price and we're still sitting at about 48 percent for closing cost contributions and uh, that is certainly not going down and uh, seller paid closing costs right now are rocking at 49.8 percent pretty big jump you can see right there so a lot more contributing going on if you want to buy that home they're helping you with a rate buy down or your closing costs but yet active listings are not going up now if active listings don't come up you're going to see that Cromford market index start to go up whereas in December I was looking at it saying I think that's just a little December holiday whoop de doo I think that's going to come back down because I was seeing new listings coming on now not so fast as a walk in the second week of January the Crawford index is probably going to continue to sort of lean a little towards sellers advantage not much but we're going to need that active listing count to pop up above 17 18 thousand dollars for it to get back into even more of a buyer's market than it is right now no panic time for buyers no panic time for sellers uh, we're seeing some pretty good activity in areas where where people price right and the house looks good where the real default that i'm seeing in some listings is um, sellers are just not presenting their home properly uh, they're not honestly they're not cleaning them some of them are pretty bad now i showed two empty homes uh, this last week and they're way overpriced when you look at the, the work that they need. And you can tell when you walk in and you can see that the windows have all lost their seal. 
um, you look up at the the boards right below the 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 tile and they're all shot the house needs to be painted and there's stains on the ceiling and they're trying to get the top market price folks it's not going to happen for you you got a house that's in that kind of decay you might as well call an investor and have them pick it up or price it accordingly so you can move it you're not going to get top dollar and i'm seeing too many people putting that effort up so that has to change you're not going to get that price if you're going to be over five hundred thousand dollars you know you're going to better better be the bell of the ball now for buyers having said that a lot of buyers are really trying to pull people way beyond expectations they're asking 575 of the house i'm going to offer them 525 we're not there yet there isn't desperation in the market yet um, so there is a softening and there are prices coming down but you're just not going to find that huge home run on getting somebody to really concede unless they started out grossly overpriced there's a difference between being grossly overpriced and just priced maybe a little bit above the market and you can recognize it open door showed us what grossly over overpriced was <laughs> they paid way too much so they're the ones that had to pull back a hundred thousand dollars the average person out there listing their home they weren't starting out that hot they were a little bit in uh in early march but we're not seeing that as much now so got to continue to watch this active listing number and see if i can find another leaky bucket but i'm i'm seeing that listings simply are <coughs> excuse me increasing at the rate that we normally would in january because sales are tipped on along right behind them. So we're going to continue to watch this. Don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks.